It was hot. Yeah. <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> it was hot and it was loud. Obviously, we're a community bank, and we have community bankers on our team, and that's an important part of who we are. And the Dorman Center opportunity was a perfect example of that. The Dorman Center is a 501c3 charitable operation. Uh, although it's the recipient, the largest recipient of funds from Metro United Way, it still requires a great deal of donations from the community to survive. German American uh, came to the rescue at just the right time when we had to completely rebuild the heating and air conditioning systems for our facility. Wanda, being the traditional community banker that she is, is heavily involved in, in numerous organizations and her involvement with the Dorman Center is what initially kind of tipped us off to the need that existed. So I've been with the Dorman Center for around 10 years as a board member and the last four years as treasurer. Wanda was the first one to reach out to me and, and let me know that there was a need. And about two days later, I uh, was out at lunch with Ray, uh, and we happened to run into Ron Cocker. I've been here for about six or seven years on the board. I knew about the Dorman Center for many years. So I just started asking questions. You know, what what is really going on? What's the need? What's happening? And it became clear that, you know, literally the HVAC was, had failed effectively. Um, and so, you know, I literally reached out through my channels and said, hey, I want to make sure that we're a major player in this. What can we do to help? Uh, and I will admit, it would actually surprise me a little bit because the response I got was, was what's it going to be? Can we do the whole thing? What we were able to do for those children, uh, no words can put it in perspective. We, right now, we serve 46 families. Um, we also serve an additional 13 families from their home um, through our First Steps program with our developmental interventionist. Um, I think what makes the Dorman Preschool so unique um, is our teaching style. Um, we have a very different teaching approach um, than really anyone in our area. The best part about it is sitting out here watching these kids play on a day and just being able to explore and do their own thing. That's yeah, really special. I'm watching the children play and at the same time that they're playing, they're learning. It's, it's really neat. The children are learning based on what they're interested in. Um, so they're doing it in a natural environment, um, in a space where they can freely explore. And we call it the dorm and dirty <laughs> here. And um, the parents just know that that's part of their play, part of their learning. They know that their kids enjoyed what they did today, that they learned a lot while they were playing. Uh, it's hard to find a family in Shelbyville and Shelby County that haven't been affected one way or another by the Dorman Center and to see German American come into our community and expand their support in this community to a facility like Dorman Center uh, is incredible. We at German American believe that as we support our communities and help them to grow and thrive, the people within those communities will prosper and thrive as well. And this is a perfect example with the support of the Dorman Center as to how we're actually putting that in action and moving that forward.